The BJP received 57% of total electoral bonds sold between March 2018 to 2022. 5,270 crores, that is out of 9,908 uh, crore. Uh, the BJP secured 5,270 crore out of that. Electoral bonds were sold uh, between the years of 2018 and 2022. And uh, the Congress got 253 crore via electoral bonds. Let's Let's go across uh, to Arvind for more on this. And Arvind, give us more details and this breakup of uh, the electoral bo uh, bonds uh, they're emerging. Yeah, uh, Gaji, all political parties have submitted their audit reports for the financial year of 2022. And if you could, uh, after going through uh, the reports that have been submitted by all the uh, national political parties, it reveals that BJP has received almost over 1,000 crore uh, via electoral bonds in financial year 2022 alone. So in the last year alone, BJP has received almost 1,033 crore via electoral bonds. And if you could see the Congress party, Congress has got almost 253 crore via electoral bonds during the same year. That's for the financial year uh, 2022. And TMC has received almost 528 crore via electoral bonds in the same year. So BJP is leading with 1,033 crore, crore in the financial year of 2022, uh, followed by TMC with 528 crore and Congress in the third portion with 253 crore. This is only for the financial year of 2022. If you could see the entire, uh, fin entire data that has been put in public, uh, from the year of 2018 because electoral bonds uh, were, were, were introduced in the year of 2018. So since 2018 till March 2022, that's for the four financial years, 2018, 2019, 2020 and 2022. For these four financial years, if you could see almost electoral bonds worth 9,208 crore were sold. That's almost 9,200 crore worth electoral bonds were sold right. in these uh, yes, between uh, financial year 2022, out of which BJP alone has got 5,270 crore. That's almost 57% of the entire electoral bonds in this year uh, were, got, uh, were received only by BJP, followed by Congress with almost 964 crore, that's only 10%, and TMC with almost 767 crore, that's just 8%. Right, and Arvind, the, the reason this, you know, these electoral bonds have been controversial is because they were meant to bring transparency, but there have been accusations that, that they bring even less uh, transparency to political funding. Yeah, that the several petitions are pending before the Supreme Court, wherein several petitioners have challenged this electoral bond scheme on two uh, main grounds. One, this particular electoral bond is supporting is an advantage for the ruling party, it's skewed uh, towards the ruling party. That's the uh, on the merit ground, that's where the petitioners have challenged, saying that this is not per se bringing any transparency uh, to the to the uh, political funding, but whereas this is an advantage for the whichever the party that's in ruling. That's the first ground. On the legal aspect also, they have challenged the electoral bond scheme, saying that this particular electoral bond scheme was notified or was introduced through a money bill and that's why the entire uh, the, the the legal legality of this electoral bond has also been challenged before the supreme court and supreme court is still seized of this matter supreme court is yet to uh, give a final view on this particular issue on both the legal ground and also the merit ground but with the data coming the second ground that the merit ground the merit the, the ground the argument on the merit of the petitioner that it's in advantage of the ruling party seems to be strengthening with the data that's coming every year all right. Thanks so much, Arvind, for joining us with those details.